so refresh and it will go like this so as you can see this is the outline we are getting beautiful all of you hope you guys are great so in this project we're going to build this amazing progress bar in this project we're going to learn about the keyframe in css and we also learn about the functions of javascript that how we can trigger this progress bar on click so that's all we're going to learn in this video i hope you enjoy it so as you can see that here i have opened my visual code studio and this is my browser and here i have written a few codes so this is nothing but the colors which i'm going to use in my ui so I will not only teach you that how you can build this progress, but I will also explain you that how you can come with a better design concept for your front end development. So here I have taken the icon color, background color, box shadow color. I have taken lighter and dark. So these are the colors which I'm going to use in this project. And here I have done some global setting. I have removed the margin padding and I have provided box sizing to border box. So in the body, what I have done, I have provided 50% from top, 50% from left and transform translate minus 50% from the X coordinate and minus 50% from the Y coordinate. And that's everything will be come in the central. So a position I have assigned absolute and the background color I have used it in the form of variables. So that's it in the in the general settings. So let's start writing the code. So let's come to the body tag and let's write some HTML code for our projects. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to take a container one container inside that I will have another div with the class progress bar. So I will just run my program as like this. So first I will take a container container and inside this I'm going to have another div and I'll call it here yeah, progress bar and I need a button. So I'll come out of this container and I'll take a button and I'll call it let's say me and I will assign an ID which I'm going to trigger on click event. So I'll take an ID and I'll give it I'd call it bar. That's pretty much we need for HTML now let's move to the CSS and let's start designing our container and progress bar so here first I'm going to target my container container and I'm going to provide a width to 700 pixels so you can give whatever width you want as per your project so I'll say 700 pixels width and the height I'm going to use it is going to be let's say 20 pixels 20 pixels is height and and I'm going to take the background color so I'll going to use this one this icon I'll save it as you can see this is the line you are getting now I want to give a margin from bottom so I'll come here and give a margin to ramp from the bottom and I also want to take a border radius so I'll say border radius is going to be let's say two ram so this is how it will look I think we are done with the container now let's do one thing let's provide a box shadow to this so I'll say box shadow is going to be box shadow so this is how it will look now we have a dark color on the downward part and the lighter on the upper part so we are done with the progress a container now let's move to the progress bar so i'll say and inside this uh the width is going to be let's say let me show you so the height i'm going to provide is going to be 100 percent so it's fully cover the height of this parent diff and width is going to be initially let's say um, let's say five pixels and the color is going to be yellow so this is the color as you can see this is the small yellow part we are still able to see so let's let me increase the so this is how it's looking but i want to provide a border radius to this as well so i'll say border radius is going to be let's say 2 ram and this is how it will look now we are getting a nice nice texture so so we are done with this progress bar now let's target the button and provide some styling to that as well so i'll say button and the very first thing i want to do is i want to provide a padding so the padding I'm going to provide is going to be, let's say, two RAM from all the sides. So this is how it will look. Outline, outline is going to be none. So I don't want to have the outline. Now let's remove the border from this border. I want to remove it. Now I want to provide the background color is going to be our, not this, bar. And I'm going to use this background color, main BG. And let's provide a box shadow to this. So I'll say box shadow is going to be where and this one so this is how it will look let's give a, a radius to our button so the radius i want to give is let's say one ram and i will save it so this is how it's looking as you can see it's looking totally like a demo one i think that's it let me increase the font size of this button so i'll say font size is going to be let's say 25 pixels yeah this looks good let me increase the font width is going to be let's say hmm, 600 so this is how it will look uh, i just want to make it 500 yeah this looks better now as you can see in the demo one we have a one more container on top so let's write the function for the progress bar then we'll start writing the code for this container on the top title so let's come here and i'm going to use i write a little bit of javascript before i write a javascript let's do one thing 
let's write a keyframe. So here I'm going to create an ID which I'm going to target with the help of JavaScript. So what I will do, I'll take an ID and I'll call, uh, let's say bar. So I'll call it bar. And inside this, I'm going to use the animation. And the animation I want to provide is, so I'll call it bar. And I want to provide the animation to, let's say, two seconds. And it's going to be forward, forward. Okay, this is for the, this, this we're going to target with the help of JavaScript. Now let's come down here. And here I'm going to use the animation keyframe. So for getting the animation, so I'll say keyframe. And here I have to pass the, this bar which we have created. So bar and what I have to do first, I want to check like on the zero person. So on the zero person, I want the width of our bar is, uh, let's say zero, because initially it's going to be zero. I want to trigger this on click. So, and when it's come to hundred percent, is going to be let's say width is going to be hundred percent so i'll say hundred percent so we are done with this what happened let's save it okay this is something interesting okay because we have given the same id to this one so let me change this to something else i'll say so we have created this classes now i'm going to target this class on click event so with the help of this so what i will do i'll come here and i'll take a script tag I'll take a script tag inside this first thing I'm going to target is my progress bar because that is the thing which I want to animate till the end so I'll say progress uh, sorry I'll take const progress -S progress and I'm using the class so I'll say document dot query selector and I have to take this and inside this I have to give a comma and then I have to target my class so progress progress bar so I have targeted the class now let me target the button because that I want to trigger this animation on click event so I'll call it take it const and I'll say it call it but one button and this time I'm going to target with the help of <clears throat> because I have assigned an ID to get element by ID what I will do inside this I'll call my but and button bar sorry not Y it's R so we are taking these two variables now let's come down and I'm going to add an add event listener on the button so whenever I click on the button I want this animation to take place so I'll call button and I will use the add event listener the, the event I want to listen is click so I'll say CLICK click and I want to use this arrow function so inside this what I want to do I want to this target this progress so I'll say progress and on this, I'm going to use the set attribute. I uh, will use set attribute. And as you remember that here, we have created this ID by the name bar. So I'll call, going to call this function. So I'll say, I'll provide, call it ID. And the ID name is, which I have given, uh, let's say what, what the name I have given, bar. So I'll simply call the ID bar. And I will save it. So as you can see that we have written the code, the moment I will click on this button, I will get this animations loop here. But before I do that, let me give a cursor to a pointer because that's how we can identify that it's a button. So the moment I will click on this, it will just animate this one. As you can see, it's working fine. Let me refresh and we can do this one and you can do this also. So instead of here, we have a sign of where this 25%, you can make it zero. So it will look like this and the moment you will click, will have this one so this is how you can create a progress bar on click and as you can see we have targeted the button and we have written this few javascript to have this animations now let's have this title on the top so for that that's very easy what i will do here i will simply come here and i will take a let's say text and text that's it let's come back here up down the button and here i'm going to do the styling so I'll simply provide a width and height to my text container. So I'll say height is going to be, let's say, hmm, 100 pixels. Let's see, we'll just change this value if we see that it's too big. So I'll provide the width is going to be, let's say, 700 pixels. And the background color, background color, I'm going to use this one, where this main color, I'll save it. And I will also provide a box shadow because I really like this. So I'll say box shadow is going to be this one. I'll save it as you can see this is how it's looking it's too big so I want to reduce the size of this so let's make it 400 yeah this looks much better now what I can do I want to provide a border radius to this section so border radius is going to be one RAM I'll save it this is how it will look 
now I can what I can do I'm going to set the positions to be absolute so I can able to adjust this div wherever I want on my document so I'll say position is going to be absolute and what I want to do I'm going to make it top is going to be let's say minus 50 percent it will go up and I can increase the value let's make it 60 let's let's make it 80 let's go even further I want to make it a little more let's make it 120 yeah this looks much better and now what I can do is I can say left is going to be let's say 50 percent okay 50 percent and transform and translate is going to be minus 50% minus 50% the moment I will save it will be right up here so let me decrease it from the top a bit so I'll come I don't so I'll say 70 yeah this looks much better now inside this I'm going to take a h1 tag mm, yeah where, where it is inside this I'll take h1 tag and I'll say my progr progress bar as you can see this is the text is looking right now let me do some setting in there so I'll say display is going to be the uh, flex and justify content is going to be center that will make me an align end is going to be center so everything is in middle I want to increase the font size so I'm doing directly on the diff you can target individually h1 tag if you have a lot of lot of you know a lot of h1 tags you can do that separately so I'll provide this to be 30 pixels Oh, it's too big let's say 20 pixels and that's it so this is how we can design our progress bar let me open in the full browser and let me show you so refresh and it will go like this so as you can see this is the outline we are getting beautiful so I hope you have learned a lot of things today this is how you can design this beautiful progress bar if you have any questions any doubt leave down in the comment sections and I'm ending this video and I'm also giving you a homework so what you can do simply I want you to add a refresh button as you can see I have to refresh this browser then it's getting restart what I want you to do you want to set a button here when you click on that it will reset everything so this is the function you have to add so this is the thing which you have to do from your end I have taught you that how you can create this progress bar now it's your turn to just make reset everything and I'm providing all this code so you can simply come here like type dollar Hussain, go to my website and where I'm uploading all these codes, all the source codes, all the project which I have worked in the past and currently I'm working. So you can easily able to download the source codes and you can watch the playlist on my YouTube channel or also I have all the playlists right up here. So you can simply click on this code, coding sorry. And here you can able to find all the projects. So like projects are here. So you can simply check my JavaScript projects, everything explaining I'm here. So I want you to give a try, have a look. If you like it, it will help you in learning and do share your project the project which we are working right now I want you to set a reset button and do share that project with me here on on in the comment or you can share on Instagram or even you can share on my website hope you have learned something new that how you can build this amazing positive bar if you have any questions do leave in the comment section and if you're new to my channels do hit like and subscribe that's motivate me to make this video and that's it see you next time bye bye